Good morning, good morning everyone, and happy Gen Con! Hey, we got lots of people here. So, um, today, for right now, we're going to be playing some Legendary, and we've got a very special setup based on some uh, current and popular heroes, and we'll go into that in just a few. But right now, I got a little something to read tied to our ongoing Legendary Gamer Contest. So, if you're not aware, we have a contest going on. You're able to enter, share your stories, and you have some great prizes, and we'll get into that in a moment. But Upper Deck is in search of the ultimate legendary gamer. The legendary gamer is the most passionate of tabletop gamers who has made a positive impact in the gaming or legendary community. Submit your entry now by telling us why you are the ultimate legendary gamer. For your chance to win a trip for two to Gen Con Indy 2022, free games for a year, and exclusive swag. So, we are holding this now. It's open until middle of December, but we want to see those entries. And I know a few people who might be here already have entered, so we're happy to hear that. But yeah, keep those going, and we'll be mentioning that a little later on as well. Speaking of things a little later on as well, we're going to have some gifts for you all, and I'll show those off in a bit. But for now I'm joined by Rob, Mark, and Erica. We're going to be playing some Legendary. You guys ready? Yep, oh, yeah. we're ready. So awesome. Ready. Let's roll. So, I will be starting us off. Let me get my starting hand here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And so, so we're playing our mastermind. We're trying to defeat is the Mandarin. That's but, right. Yeah. We're up against the Mandarin. We've got our scheme here is master the mysteries of kung fu, and we've got our five heroes. We've got Scarlet Witch, Doc Strange. Shang-Chi, the Winter Soldier, and Captain America Falcon. So, Indeed. here we go. And we've just pulled up, who's that? Is that Demogoblin? That is oh, is that some Maximum Demogoblin. Carnage on okay. here? Okay, yeah. so it says Ambush. Oh, what's Upper our Ambush? It says effect? Ambush. Okay. Ambush Demogoblin captures a bystander, so we'll do that. Right out the gate. Wow. And then it says Feast. And Feast is Ooh. that we have to KO, we have to reveal the top card of our deck, and KO, and KO it. Dang. Right? Is that KO or discard? It's KO. Oh, wow. KO the top card of your deck. Is that part of the uh, ambush effect? Or is that just when you attack it? It's it's feast. It just feast. says KO. I, I think it's... Oh, it's. I think... Is it a fight effect? It's a fight effect. It's a fight effect. Okay. 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 Never mind that, then. I'm going to be doing that right out of the gate. Wow. All right. But as is... Oh Just be God. careful with that, because if, um, so Shang-Chi, I know, has got that wall crawl ability. Right. Which puts cards on top of your deck, so be careful mm -hmm. if you do that and then fight somebody with Feast, you don't want to lose that card. So make sure you know that that combo is coming. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start off. I can't do anything with those guys, but we got one, two, three, four recruit here, and I am going to pick up Doctor Strange. All right, All right here Mark. Phil. Go. Cool. to reveal my villain for me? You betcha. It is a hand ninja. Ooh. Ninja. So I've got uh, two attack, four recruit. And you can't even get the hand ninja, Mark. I can't even get the <laughs> hand ninja. At least I had an excuse. Mm -hmm. Like what? I'm gonna get him right away. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go with uh, the mystery Scarlet the Witch. Mystery Scarlet Witch, the wild card. Awesome. All right, me now. Here we go. Master Strike. Dang, already. Hey. So, Master Strike for the Mandarin, for anyone who's not aware, each player chooses a Mandarin's ring from your victory pile to enter the city. Any player who didn't have a ring gains a wound. What a Anybody got a ring? Anybody what, a, what a fortuitous time to draw a Master Strike. All right. Well, wound for you. you. You got your wound. You got your wound, please, and thank you. There we go. This is about as cheerful okay, as I can so, be talking about wounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got the... T I, I'm, I can't take out the Hand Ninja either, Mark. Oh. The hypocrisy so got, of it all. The, yeah, I've got four <laughs> recruit that I will. I will. I will go with Falcon here. There we go. Not bad. Nice. All right. So who we got on okay, the deck? Okay. So we got. Oh, okay. Oh, this is one of the new cards out of the Annihilation yes. expansion, which is available now, by the way. But yeah, we've Let's got Pharaoh Ramen Tut. 
So he's got Conqueror th Bridge Conqueror three. Okay, okay. so the that Bridge, bridge Conqueror be. three means if somebody's in the bridge, he gets a plus three. So he's a seven attack to take out now. Yeah, we do not want that. But come on, Erica, you can get the hand in. Yeah, there. I show I us how it's I done. Can. I actually show, have show a very nice balance. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. real quick so. though, he's got that ambush though, so the bridge yes. is empty. So, so we need to move, move a villain. villain to the bridge. Can it says it be a villain. villain. It can be any yeah. villain. Okay. So not him. Not no, 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 not him. My bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> that yeah, perfect. Obviously. This yeah. one's fine because I'm gonna take him anyway. So. Yeah, punch him good. Yeah. Yeah. If the bridge is empty, which it wasn't. Yeah. Right, no. so he, she, he's still a four. Move a villain to the bridge. It wasn't empty, so that guy just stays there. Ah. If the villain, if the bridge was empty, yeah, it was. The, oh, yeah. So silly me. Raw <laughs> <laughs> bridge bank well, whatever. I'm, I'm I can read. Anyway, so. Come on, <laughs> please. And then I get plus one, so I can take. Yes, you got let's four. See. I want Ching Chi. Do it. Okay. Oh, is that the one with you got wall crawl right? Yep. So your call if you want him on the top. Oh yeah. Your, yeah. Yeah. Can. Yeah. I want him on the. I yeah, just don't, we don't help that guy. Okay. <laughs> well, see, yeah, see, she's safe. Erica's safe because before we turn over another card, she's going to draw six mm -hmm. cards. Perfect. And then draw your six. <laughs> we got, oh, hey, we got Black Bolt coming in here. Has he got any ambush? No, but you can turn any number of times. You need to discard a card that has no rules text. Give Black Bolt minus two. Okay. Bridge, bank. It's not like I. <laughs> They're all places. It's not like I played this game a few times. Oh man, I got the same hand as last time. So we got four. What do we want here? Mm. Oh, we got Falcon. There we go. Cool. And we'll fill up. that back in. I will fill that back in. Reveal a there villain. Oh. Reveal a villain. It's a bystander. Can you tell me what the text on um, on Black Bolt says? The text on Black Bolt says. During your turn, any number of times, you may discard a card that has no rules text to give Black Bolt minus two. And he's a what? And he's a 13. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. Mm, mm. <laughs> I saw the three and I was like, eh. Okay. Uh, so I've got four recruit, two attack. Still can't do much on the attack side, but. Oh, what did I have? I had. Con What's up? Nothing. <laughs> Carry on. What's that? No, I didn't say anything. Two, four, six, eight. Still wouldn't have it. Have Mark it. is not going to be able to kill anything again. Nope. I am not. I will go for... And you know what? <laughs> I won't either. I said it before. I'll say it again. The hypocrisy of it all, Rob. All right. Master or Scheme Twist. Scheme Twist. There you go. If you please, Mr. Shaughnessy. All right. So, so that's the the kung the circle of kung fu. That's right. So villains and the mastermind have the circle of kung fu matching the number of twists stacked here. So we got one stack. That means we got to deal. Basically, everybody's learning some kung fu fighting, and we're gonna have to deal with that by showing uh, the, the, the cost has to match or beat that. Yes, the cost of a card we a hero card we play has to match or beat. The, the number of twists, which is one, yeah. which means the only thing that fails is zeros, which is exactly what I have. So I can't fight anything anyway because I'm not good enough at Kung Fu. Mm. But I have four recruit, and I can recruit... I'll keep, I'll keep on the whole Falcon thing. Okay. Oh, you. Yeah. So another hand ninja. Ooh. It's hard to I read those names on that. To on the, attack uh, this one. So Darvova is asking any news on the stored solution for this game. News on the storage solution? We're working on it. Still working on it. <laughs> We're working on it. Hey, we got a raid from Bagel. Thank you so much, Bagel. And look at all you people. Wow, that is a lot of bagels on the screen now. That's perfect for this morning, I'll say that. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, I see someone asking, only ever seen the Wednesday stream, and thank you for coming to those, but who are the players? Uh, you got me, Richard. We also have Mark, Rob, and Erica. Thank you so much for coming in. Who's Erica? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Ryan? <laughs> I don't like it. What do you guys do? Yeah, no. What? 
Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself real quick, Erica. Okay, mind. sure. So I just started working at Upper Deck um, about two months ago. Awesome. And I am an art acquisition coordinator. So Ooh. it's my job to uh, find artists to make the wonderful art for um, games such as Legendary and Trading Card Sets. So if you see stuff that looks cool, you know who to thank <laughs> for it. A and the artists, of course, too. <laughs> yes, and don't forget to thank the artists. Yes. Okay, and I'm going to take... I'm gonna take Scarlet Witch. Nice. Hey Bagel, I watched your stream yes last night. Good job. Liked it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're excited about the Annihilation expansion. You just got Rob approved, Bagel. Alright. So you good? Yep, I'm good. Awesome. Hey, you're you took done. out the hand. Yes. He's I got the only one doing work over here. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carrying this team. When you need something Ooh. done. <laughs> Bring in Erica. We got our first uh, Mandarin ring on yeah, the, the, or the Mandarin, Ten Rings. The Mandarin ring, Ten Rings henchman group popped up. And it's it's one stronger now because we have that also in conjunction with the Mandarin so not mastermind. O not only is that ring powered up by the Mandarin, it's powered up because that ring somehow knows Kung Fu. And we have to deal with that. So, fun. Um, I only got two attack here, so I can't do anything with Falcon this turn. But I got five recruit. Ooh, who do I want? Who do I want? Bagel Top says, oh, really, thank you for watching the stream. Mm -hmm. And he also says, the Super Scroll Fire Lore combo was so good. Yes, <laughs> it is. Go it is. Wait till you play the Dimensions scheme. That's kind of fun. A little, a little high maintenance, but it, it's very interesting and strategic. Anyone who doesn't know, they're talking about our just-released Annihilation expansion uh, that came out yesterday. And uh, we did a stream on that as well. You can check out the, the VOD on that if you want to check out literally all the cards. And of course, bagel stuff too, because I know he's on doing that great video on it. But that is available on the uh, upper deck store right now. We go. Ramen tut again. 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 And this time the bridge is full, so we don't got to worry about that part. Yes. Of the, the, the bridge, not the bank. Not the Rob. bank. <laughs> All right. So first bridge mutual. <laughs> Chaos magic reveal the top card of the hero deck. Ready? Okay. Yes. You ready? What we got? Sure. Got so, some extra recruit. Top card of the hero deck. I may play a copy of that card this turn. When I do, put that card at the bottom of the hero deck. So I'm just going to get uh, two extra two recruit. recruit. Right. Oops. Sorry. All right, so where did you come from over there? Two. You weren't giving me a free Doctor Strange? <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> no. Still can't attack anything. Um, can five. I see that five cost? Certainly, so sir. If he plays seven others, he gets buffed up. Play at least seven other cards this turn, you get plus two. So he's going to be all about. Eh, he's got a lot of attack, so hopefully I can get some card draw going. There you go. Oh, I know we like that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like we, we might have our first escape already. Okay, so it's okay. my turn. We do. So please. So we got that escape and a lost bystander. And a lost bystander, so we'll slide these down. Uh huh. Who are we knocking off here? I'm knocking off. I am knocking off. Doctor Strange. Oops. Set him here. I'll have to do that, card. and we have to discard one, which is an easy choice for me. I, since I'm weak and can't attack anyway, I'll get rid of the attack I had, and I'll play my four recruit, and I'll take Winter Soldier. My, turn. my amazing turn is now completely finished. What do uh, got? Rob, uh, mm. that kid Alex420 asked, why is Adam Warlock hero and Avenger instead of a Guardian of the Galaxy from Into the Cosmos? Mm. Um, that was a tough call. It was basically that, that Into the Cosmos set was basically starting out as a Cosmic Avenger set. So, so he originally he escaped, went into we the checklist as an Avenger because be it was themed about yeah, the Cosmic Avengers. Two. And he just stayed that way. Um, which Partly because that's how we were originally a design. <laughs> to you, if you that's how kind of Marvel and get her the one you don't want to pick. Sort up. of wanted the the, the no, expansion no. theme. Here we go. Okay. So I basically have a similar hand to the one that Rob just played. Mm -hmm. So I you mean bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I mean bad. I'm not going to attack anyone this round, mm. but I am going to recruit. Um, I'm GT going to do GL Gamer Gaming 97 says love the artwork for this expansion. I think Jack Kirby would be highly would highly approve. 
That's I guess. a very high bar there. Yeah. That's some good praise, we, though. We try hard to, to, to make the legendary art, the card art, as, as You'll get there, good as it can mm -hmm. be. Uh, the art department, there's there's a number of them, people. The Samantha Padilla is the art acquisition Anybody um, have a ring? No, lead. I do not. And Julio is the, is the man who does a lot of the legendary card art. Mm -hmm. Um, Erica will probably do some yes, in the future. I, I'm doing some mix between game and trading cards, so just getting used to doing art for both. Yeah. Mm. How come no one's playing any cards that we've recruited? It seems like we're all playing starter cards, turn after turn after turn. I know, right? <laughs> so I've, had, I've had three of my four hands have been the four two. Yeah, m me too. I think that we we my my shuffling is inadequate. March turn, we're ready. Yep. It's game twist. Oh, and it looks like we're up to two. Do we want to start off now? All right, real quick before we move on with that one, uh, we are going to have a little gift for you all. Uh, it's going to be exclamation mark raffle, and let's see here, Mark, pick a card. So our prize right now is going to be oh, this is a good one too. We got this promo Spider-Man card right here. That's an alternate art Joe Jusco masterpieces image on the um, the whip. Yes. Painted on red for Spider-Man. Yeah. So this could be yours. All you have to do is enter um, exclamation mark raffle. Uh, we got a time on that one. You got f about four and a half minutes to enter right now, and uh, yeah, we'll announce that in just a few. And we have more gifts to come after that. So even if you don't grab that one, you got more chances. Almost was going to use this as my hand. All right, Mark. Let's get serious about this now. Well, I've got, I mean, I've this. Got, I've got four recruit. That's oh. that, that's what I have. I have four recruit. I told you the whole four two thing. Um, let's see, there's a question. There's a question in there. It says, "Can anyone at this table give the official reason?" Uh, no. Winter Soldier's rare card <laughs> is called two is better than four. It's greater than four. Actually, my answer. I'll stand with that answer. No, because that Winter Soldier card was done before my time in the Legendary group. So why that card title was what it was, is what it is, I, I'm clueless. I'm clueless. Basic math, of course. <laughs> Pretty much all of the all the card titles come from the designer, Devin. Devin does all the card titles. To an extent. To unless, an extent. They unless there was something approved. that we felt that needed to be changed. Right. But most... Most of the card titles you guys see it yeah. actually comes through with the mechanics from from the designer Devin Lowe. And, so, and Devin Lowe is really very uh, co comic book knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. I already played your card, didn't I? Uh, yeah, because I haven't seen that guy before. I think. No, I'm sorry. It was this one. Yeah, yes. it was this one. Um, can I see what that Doctor Strange at the end does? Mm -hmm. That's a good one too. I don't remember if. You did pick up that one Winter Soldier that needs extra draws. It does, but I also reveal the top card of your deck, draw or teleport it, but I also did need a... Um, oh, more blue? Yep, so I'll take the other uh, cast magic. I'm just going to be pulling cards from the deck. And hey, there's the other one. Okay. Wild card, baby. Hopefully that'll be there when I come back around with my okay. other hand. So here we go. Rob, can you pick that one up? You totally should. <laughs> yeah, so that escapes. And when he escapes, each player discards a card with no rules text, and he had a bystander, so... So That's fun. <laughs> I'll uh, discard. Oops, not. Yes, I'll discard that one. The shield agent. Does a wound count as having? And text? then just for the bystander, I'll discard a wound. I'll just, there we go. Yeah, that's how we do that. And then I'll play out my cards like this, and I have four attack. Can I do anything with four attack? Can you scroll back up? That was, I can. Yeah, yeah, I can. can I can take ring. out the ring. Yeah. Sweet. That's pretty important to get rid of these rings before they escape. Mm -hmm. You may choose a card from your hand or discard pile. The player to your right puts it in their hand. The player to my right would be Mark. What's happening? I can choose a, a card in my discard pile and give it to my to my friend Mark. Here we go. <laughs> you give him the wound. So, well, <laughs> I've been around Legendary since the very beginning of it, and I have yet to play a full cooperative game of this. <laughs> so, usually it gets pretty cutthroat just because we're trying some things out, but how many, I'm expecting How to many say, wounds do you have? Well, I have the same number you do because nobody has yet to... to well, you have <laughs> one more now. <laughs> <laughs> well, on, on that note of, of Rob being perfectly kind to his colleague here, I just want to say, um, Matt Look had a shout out for, for us as a team, but also you specifically, Rob, for being such a big help to them on... Uh, 
oh. to finish certain expansion. So my my pleasure. So oh. you so he's nice to all of you, but just don't be at this table. <laughs> yeah, mm. just don't work. And, with well, him. I'd mm. I'd be nice to Erica and Richard too. Oh. It's just Mark. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's just Mark. Well, Mark. I can live with that. Have Mark and I have been yeah. sort of a, a, <laughs> a, a, a Mark and I have sort of been a production manager team for I don't know how many years now. Four. Well, well these guys I've are reminiscing. Officially on about one minute left on that raffle, people. Okay. I've been officially on the entertainment team for four years. So uh, I, I have a lot of respect for Mark. Oh, he, I'm the legendary twist. guy. Mark is basically the versus guy. Okay. We make quite a good team. Um, so it's it's fun to mess with Mark. It's just fun. <laughs> oh, trust me, I'll be giving it back here. <laughs> so remind me again for scheme twist. So the scheme twist uh, in this in this setup, these guys are bumped up. Their kung fu is now oh, much stronger. Okay. So yeah. now um, it, we need to play a card of cost the, the three cost or three more, more to, okay. to even be able to fight them, or at least to remove yeah. their uh, their extra attack. And I believe the uh, our gift rattle should be ending in just a moment, if it hasn't already. Okay, cool. So we're going to grab that winner right now. And it is House of Mao. You are the winner of, again, this alternate art Thwip Spider-Man card. Uh, we'll get your details on that in just a bit. If you aren't already, best way to do that is to get in touch with me on our Discord server. And uh, we're going to have a link to that in just a moment. But otherwise, we'll be in touch and we'll figure that out for you. But I'm going to set this aside just for you. Thanks for watching. And as, as mentioned, we're going to have more gifts a little later on. Uh, a couple people in chat were talking about uh, picking up verses. Uh, appreciate that. Absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, we will also be um, myself and Vito, who is the uh, new associate product manager for Versus, will be playing Versus. Um, we actually have reached out to uh, everybody in the community. Um, if you guys build a deck or want us to play a deck, uh, send us a deck list at op at upperdeck.com and we'll pick out two that we want. We'll build those decks and we'll actually play it live tomorrow right here on Twitch, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Uh, so you'll see me and Vito um, trying out some um, uh, public made uh, decks. So we should have some fun with that. And that's not going to be the only other stream that we're doing this weekend. Uh, as part of Gen Con, we have today's, obviously, and thanks for stopping by. We have tomorrow's, and we're going to have Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. We're going to be playing both Legendary Annihilation and a little bit of Legendary Bond, The Spy Who Loved Me. So definitely tune in for that. Yes. We'll, I'll be back. Rob will be back. I'll I will be back. Be back. Uh, let's see. Even though delays have hit the upcoming expansions, will we see the next slate after Guardians uh -huh. MCU announced this year? Yes, you will see the next slate announced. Maybe not before the end of the year, but you will see we see it announced as soon as we can announce it. So maybe the answer is, is the you answer will that? see it. You will see if it, it exists um, eventually. <laughs> probably not. Probably not before the end of the year. I'm working on it. Um, we're working on the checklist. We're working on getting all of the checklists approved. And until all of that's done, we can't tell you anything. But I already know what next year is going to be. But I just can't say. So maybe January or February we'll announce all of next year's plans, and you'll like them. COVID has been hitting a lot of industries uh, yes. pretty hard, especially ours with delays. Um, and that is not something that's going to go away anytime soon. So we're still going to be having delays on some things. But um, we're trying to get stuff out as quickly as we can to you guys. We're trying to get information out as quickly as you can. Uh, one of the problems that we have is we're bringing this out and then it delays and delays and delays and delays. So um, we'll try and get some information out to you guys for all of our games as soon as we can. Yeah. Talking about verses again real quick. We got a suggestion for a deck here. 25 terrain cards and 45 copies of Multiple Man. How's that sound? Uh, well, that would be a 70 card deck, so it's a little <laughs> higher, but um, I'll take the 45 copies of Multiple Man. That'd, that'd be kind of cool. Throw in like one, one Daredevil Iron Fist. Like, just get that. I love that combo. That's Just pump uh, them up with Master Martial Arts. completely artists. worth the wait. Awesome. No, we're happy to hear that. Thanks. A legendary COVID edition expansion. All heroes have to wear masks and social distance. Uh, a lot of them are already wearing masks, for what that's worth. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard's turn, I turned over a bystander for you. Excellent. Thank you very so much, Go Rob. ahead and play your cards. Oh, this is going to be quick and easy. Um, I got nothing. So, Mark, it's your turn. 
Well, you had three recruit. You had three recruit. I never ever <sighs> discount the the you the officer over it. here who's who's. I don't like this. I don't like it's Richard's, it's Richard's MO. It's his, I just don't it's his, like filling my deck with her for whatever reason or got whatever Shang that Chi one is. In the game, so it's Richard's Chi. Okay. There we go. Sure. I appreciate okay. catching that, but that was a deliberate choice. Reveal the villain. Henchman Ring. Henchman Ring. All right, so let's there we see. Go. Two recruits. Don't have anything, but I do have three, five, six. Seven attack. All right, Mark! And I've got at least a five out there, so none of those guys are that. Uh, let's see. There's still four. I have to know what some of these fight effects are. There's okay, so we've got Bank Conquer two, so he's a six. Bridge two, he's a seven. The ring is KO one of your heroes. Yeah. The ring is a, is a four attack. But it also kind of will oh, yeah, block yeah. a master strike for you, at least, if you get that one. Wit, which is three. Doctor Strange discards a card. Uh, each player we can't outwit. Gotcha. Uh, all right. Um, I'll take the ring. Go all right. Ahead. I'll take the ring. KO. So I can get KO a card. I can get rid of one of my. Send on my deck. There we go. All right. Me. Ooh, doppelganger. No ambush. Doppelganger, dop, doppelganger's attack is equal to the cost of the hero in the HQ underneath him, which is Ooh. seven. Oh, so is... I don't think I'll be attacking him this turn. Of course, nah, I'm not going to be attacking anybody because I only have one attack. But six recruit. You can get two Maria Hills with that. I can get two Maria Hills, but that's not <laughs> what I'm going to do. I'll stick with my my Falcon. Excellent choice. My Falcon plan and roll on. You better hope that at some point you're not too recruit shy of something. <laughs> because not only will all of you give me for it, oh, but I know they guess. will. I oh, see. Heck yeah. Yes. Oh. Mm. Also got a bystander. This is... Okay. So. Oh, no. Don't you see the sidekicks deck? Yeah, no. We, we decided no sidekicks this time. We didn't want to make it too easy. <laughs> right. So my hand is very poor this round, but I will show... Shield officer, some love because she's been neglected for mm. too long. Mm. Or you can yeah. get rid of that wound instead. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I am all done. Nice See, Bagel's getting in it on the two Maria Hills. He believe he agrees that that would have been the play for you. Okay, so we have an escape on Richard's turn. Oh, all right. Uh, yes. So and just then we have Iron escape. Lad entering the city. Okay. So I'm another going... one of our new annihilation. Cards. We're gonna so that Winter Soldier. Bring in that Winter Soldier, and then weren't you waiting around to get <laughs> the Scarlet Witch card and you missed? Real, um, I only had uh, two recruit that time. Look, oh, either either I'm recruiting okay, or I'm okay, attacking. Yeah. You got to pick one. See, see, Mark and I get along so mm. well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before I Can I wrap I up my turn or at least about. continue it. Hey, Erica, pick a card. Hmm. I'll go for this one. Excellent. What do we got here? Ooh. Ooh. Who, who is the perfect follow-up to Spider-Man? Why? It's Green Goblin. So we have another raffle going on right now. Another gift for all of you viewers. Thank you again for showing up. Uh, this is same from kind of the same set. It's an alternate art Green Goblin. Um, it's, I love this card. I'll go, I love all the pumpkin bombs on it. But you can enter that now with exclamation mark raffle. We're going to have that uh, what same amount of time, so about four minutes to go. Let's get those entries in, and we'll have that for you soon. As for my turn. Up. Can you scroll it back up? Okay. Uh, let's see. Marcus Martin says, this has probably been brought up, but I know the community would love a reprint of certain sets. Sets like X-Men are definitely very sought after. Love the game. Keep it up. And thanks for all the hard work. We're working on that, too. Mm -hmm. It's in the works. We hear you guys. It's in the Absolutely. works. Absolutely. We're working on that, too. So what do we got here? I I um Three, I try six, every day seven. to monitor what you guys want, what you guys say, what you guys post. So keep it coming, and and I may not respond, but I I will see. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna take out doppelganger because oh, I have what do I have? I have seven attack this turn, and so I get a bystander that. But he has got feast. So you gotta KO the top card of your deck. 
Uh, that is okay. Big deal there. Then, unfortunately, I don't have anything to do with the rest of my attack. I only got two recruit, but we got him out of there before he got a little extra beefy. Cool. Go ahead and reveal. Radio. Another one of Timelands of Kang. This time. Ooh. The ambush, reveal your hand and send your highest cost hero as a man or woman out of time. So real quick, so I know anything is possible, but is it possible piercing energy will ever return? Or is that mechanic not received well? It is possible, and that mechanic is received very well. Uh, just the themes, the, the, the expansions we do are, are themed as much as I can make them themed around comic book stories. And we're trying to, I try to deliver heroes that we don't have in Legendary already. So I have to have the right fit for piercing energy with the right set of heroes. So it, it it's sort of a give and take kind of thing. I can't necessarily pick a keyword to build a set around, but uh, I have to pick a, a comic book storyline that lets gives me the opportunity to give you guys something that you don't have. Like Annihilation gave me the opportunity to give you guys Kang and Annihilus. That's why I did Annihilation when I did. Speaking of Annihilation, Bagel's got a question here. Um, first off, he's thrilled to see Super Scroll as a hero. I am as well. And he thinks that Brainstorm's Rare, the uh, protege of Doctor Doom, excellent. But he wants to know if there was a reason why Doom wasn't the fifth hero in that set. Um, Just thinking about the storyline and such. But. Doom wasn't in the Annihilation Wave story as much as Super Scroll was. Super Scroll had his own comic book uh, storyline based on the Annihilation. The Annihilation Wave storyline. So, uh, and we needed to have more Fantastic Four characters in the heroes, um, and Doom wouldn't have been a Fantastic Four team member. So, uh, I held back Doom in favor of Super Scroll because I only really wanted to put one villain in the checklist. I'll try to get Doom in some other time, though. I hear you guys on that, too. You guys all want a playable Doom. And then uh, Empire with updated Hulkling and Wiccan. Oh, they're back. <laughs> Every time. But we, we definitely hear it. Thanks, Flaggy. Um, and real quick, I believe we got our winner for, our, uh, for that Green Goblin gift that we pulled up. And it is... We got Adam426. Can you uh, say something in the chat? We know that you're here. Where are you at? Where are you at, Adam? We gotta hear something. Catch there you. he is. Awesome. Great. Part of the um, just like before with the Spider-Man one, if you are in our server, that's gonna be the best way to get in touch with me. Um, and that's at Rich UD. So uh, yeah, looking forward to hearing from you. We'll figure if if deck. not, either pop in there. We'd Ooh, love to have yeah. you. Does that work? Or uh, we'll get in touch and we'll find out. Do those two work together? Well. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. So I can do man out of time. But that isn't going to stick around, so it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. And we're still not done uh, with gifts. Two, two. So all that, I got three and three. Uh, this gets discarded. These two go back to underneath there. Thank you, Erica. Mm -hmm. All that, three and three. Four, so that carries that. There's nothing to attack that's less than three. And um, yes, I am going to take one of these. See, that's more power to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It turns on. <laughs> a ring. So we have another oh escape. So let's slide all these down. Yeah, how many do we have? How many escapes do we have? We have five escapes. Bystanders don't count, right? No, bystanders yeah. do not count. Just five. Mark, do you want up that Scarlet Witch? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a while before it comes around and the fact that we've got three sevens in there, it's gonna wind yeah, it's gonna wind up getting in. Yeah. Just can't seem to get the Recruit high enough. So there's nothing I can attack. Oof. I have two recruit, which doesn't do anything. I have three attack, which doesn't do anything. But I do have a wound, <laughs> so I will KO my wound on my useless turn. This has been rough. A little bit. Poor play on our part. Abysmal. Okay. What we got here? Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, Black Bolt is back, and that is another escape. Okay. And as his escape effect, each player... Uh, you know, Bagel, Bagel Top Games wouldn't have it. Yeah, we're getting destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
bagel, bagel top games wouldn't be playing this bad. So Ryan's buying the camera laughing at us. So yeah, right. Um, for Mortis's escape, each player reveals a blue hero or gains a wound. Shuffle Mortis back into the villain deck. Rob, would you be so kind as to do that part? Of I it? can do that. What does yes. that? Does that mean he still counts as an escape if he's going back in the deck? Nope. There we go. And as for revealing a blue, I got that. Oh no, that's yellow. The... I know colors. Oh no, he's both. Cool. There's so many symbols. I love it. Okay. It's actually a good question. It just says the number of escaped villains. Technically, he did escape, so the escape did trigger. But he's not. I'm going to say no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'm going to take the, uh, the um, quick I'll answer take, of no. I'll take the wound because I don't have a. Um, a ranged hero, if I remember right. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think he was looking for I a ranged hero. So, uh, Vecna Marston here. You, you do pay attention to what we say, asked for, and I love it. So here is an idea you could use, I hope. Another Dimensions-esque type box with some of the, uh, what is that, the wall type with characters? The wall type characters. Oh, okay, okay. A mastermind, mastermind. of yeah. Demon Auk leading Black Legion. Some ex like Some examples of characters there. Fridge of Marvel, uh, lots of Marvel those, lore, yeah. Yeah, those are some really some deep cuts there. Yeah, big time. Yeah, I don't know if I can. <laughs> <do that. laughs> yeah, unfortunately, with the uh, with the uh, legendary, we we've got four products a year, but there's not a lot of room for a lot of things. Yeah. So um, sometimes we are um, we're focused on what's going out in the world uh, as far as what's going on in comics and other places, um, but. Um, that's a it's a great idea. We'll we'll add that to the list. Mm hmm. Thanks for letting us know. And we're all like, kind of like you mentioned, uh, we are always happy to hear ideas, be it gameplay mechanics you want to see, keywords you want to see come back, characters you'd like to see, those sorts of things. That's the hero guy. Yep. So we love hearing so it. So I'm going to choose my hand. Hero. And she could totally do that. <laughs> all right. I'm going to take this yep. guy. Yep. All right. Gonna be, it's gonna be an incredible turn. Just all you watch and wait. I got absolutely nothing. Well, I have four. I have four recruit, which I could totally use to pick up uh, Maria Hill. But I'm gonna purge that wound. Healing you're not up. gonna get. You're not gonna get Winter Soldier. No. I don't know. I wanna get rid of the wound. Okay. Yeah. Okay. More Winter Soldier for me. Mm-hmm. Another ring. I learned I'm not supposed Get to take. Mark. I've learned I'm not supposed to take Rob's cards. No, there's two of them. There. Feel oh, free. okay. Well, let's get eight recruit. I get one of the same card. All well, right. there's one of them there now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> let's oh, see. it's a scheme twist. Oh boy. Right. Kung Fu has gotten even more powerful. So we need a four a card, which I have. So I have one, two, three, four attack, five, six attack, two recruit, six attack. So I can take out one of those guys, can I not? I believe so. This guy, he's got Conqueror 2. Conqueror 2. So I will take out Scarlet Centurion. If you played a, a co covert hero this turn, KO one of your heroes, which I did not, but I do get the bystander. So Bagel's got another question for you, Rob. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. He recalls you mentioning that the always leads groups are some of the toughest part of Legendary to design. The example was um, was who the heck a Doc Ock mastermind would lead. Are there any characters you'd love Perfect. to be a mastermind but are stumped on their always leads? Um, there are, it's, it's easy to come up with heroes that you might want to do, um, but they have to kind of be, have something in common. It is very, it's very much more difficult to come up with a mastermind and a villain group because we don't want to do additional villain groups over and over and over again. So Doc Ock, might, you might want to have Doc Ar Ock lead the Sinister Six, but we've already got the Sinister Six, so maybe Doc Ock leads the Sinister 12, but I don't have room for 12 villains. Yes, that's very, very challenging to find a mastermind. Um, but I'd like to do a mastermind of Doc Ock. Maybe that's, maybe that's the one I'd like to do most, now that I've done Kang and Annihilation. Annihilus. In Annihilation. In I, Annihilation. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to put that out there, but uh, Multiple Man started off as a villain. So, no, Multiple you know, Man can, is, multiple man he is done now. He can run an entire... Um, 
uh, henchman and villain group all by himself. Backstory. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Multiple Man is Mark's favorite Marvel hero. Yeah. And he's been he's been talking to me for like years why Multiple Man wasn't in Legendary. Mm -hmm. I spoiled him this year. Mm -hmm. So Multiple Man is coming out in Legendary this year, and now it's a one and done. We will never ever see Multiple Man come out in another Legendary expansion again. So no ever. Multiple Multiple Man. Uh, no yeah, Multiple yeah, Man yeah. villain. <laughs> no Multiple Man mastermind. Multiple Man done. No Multiple Man scheme. Just whose turn is it? <laughs> <laughs> and was... we're done talking about that. <laughs> Any chance for an Amalgam expansion? Uh, yeah, sure. I haven't put much thought into it, but I'll look into it. Let's see. Oh, One of the I think it is your show. Oh, okay. I would love I to like see. I okay. Is it Ghost Rider? I'm, I'm not really set? sure. We get as there's more than one writer out there. I think we've already played. Blizz. Could you see a Ghost Rider expansion by oh, Halloween no, I mean, of yeah. next year? Yeah. By Halloween of next year? Okay. I'm, I'm going to quick quick aside. Robbie Reyes would be awesome, but Tessa. let's see. Okay. Halloween of next year. Tall order. You already have one of those. Yeah. We actually we produce products pretty early. Only have two attacks. Um. Hey, 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 hey. What? They want to know if they if they can get a, a Ghost Rider expansion by Halloween of next year. No. Mm. Mm. No. Um, not by a next year. A Ghost Rider expansion for Halloween would be awesome, but mm -hmm. it's not in the plans for next year. Rob, do me a favor and draw a card real quick from here. Thank you very much. I'll take that back. We're going to have another gift for you all as we... What do we got here? Ooh. So this time around, it is the Ensaba Noor Mastermind card. Another promo here. And uh, just like the last ones, exclamation mark raffle. And we'll have that running for about five minutes here. Set that aside. Not in my victory pot, but I will set it aside. OK. Here's Richard's card. Excellent. Thank you. What do we got? Escape, please. At least it's not a, an escaping ring. Nope, we're up to six. Mm. Do you want that Winter Soldier for the draw, potentially? Um, potentially. I've got Chaos Magic coming, so right. I don't know what I'll get, but yeah, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. All right. Wipe out either one. All right. Well, we'll get him out of here. I'm fine with that. Yeah. As far as Halloween expansions, I've heard uh, a lot of people want um, Marvel Monsters kind of expansion, and that's I've been thinking about that too. So we're all over the Halloween theme. We just don't know which way it's going to go yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. What do I got here? I got four. I got six attack. Zombies. Zombies, maybe. Uh, let's see here. Zombies I got cost good. four. Are we good on that? Yes. All right. Cool. Zombies. Maybe. I. I'm going to KO this ring here, which has an awesome effect. I get to look at the top card of another player's deck and say if it's good or bad, and then they get to choose to put it in their discard pile, uh, or or in my discard pile. So, let's see here. So if you say good or bad, if you say it's... So I get to say if it's good or bad, and that's right. all. Then right. that player chooses to put oh, it in gotcha. their that's discard right. pile. Do, do I want to keep the card, or does that player want to keep the card or give it to you? Okay. Exactly. Right. Uh. Hey, Rob, can I see the top <laughs> card of your already, deck, please? He was already reaching for it. I am going to say that this is... That's a lot of text. Yeah. Uh, hold on, give me a second to process this one. You know what? I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm going to say... Are you messing with me, I'm going to say bad. What? Are you messing with me? I don't know. Are you going to keep it? Or are you going to give it to him? Do I have to put it... I can it's, put, it goes into your discard pile. Or my discard pile. It's, or or it's, it's bad. I say bad. I'm going to put it in mine. Okay, good. I think you, you thank you for trusting me, Rob. <laughs> and then, uh, real quick though, I also get to draw a card because of that, so I get another recruit. And hey, I picked up two. So, uh, is there any hero you have designed that you absolutely love, or how it turned out, to, but is yet to find a place in any set? Um, Devin Lowe does the card design. I help him sometimes with the card everywhere. design, and we have a great bunch of play testers that help us. The top card but uh, mostly I come up with the checklists, and right. then we so get them tweaked and approved by Marvel, and then Devin just does his thing. So um, Devin's got some great designs coming up in the sets we've already done. 
but I don't think he has a card in his mind that we haven't talked about already that, that he would love to do. At least not that he's let me know. So no, I don't have a card for a hero for that that in regards to mechanics. Midnight Suns could work too. I'm thinking for the um, October set. Yeah, yes, be, Midnight, Midnight Suns, Suns could really work cool. too. Yeah. I've heard that many times. Yeah. Uh, so uh, give it, okay, so we just um, had a Master Strike. Master Strike so that's got to enter first. Slide that down. And then, do you have a ring? I do. Oh, we're Oof. gonna we're, we're gonna lose right here. Yeah. So Black Bolt escapes. And then before yours enters, um, actually, we got to KO. We have to KO that one. Yeah, I got it. Fill it in. KO that one. Fill it back in. Um, everybody has to discard a card. With no text? No, everybody has to discard a card because oh, of the uh, right. bystander. Discard a wound. Uh, yep. And, and then, then because of Black Bolt. Each player discards a card with no rules text. Uh, yep, so wounds wounds do not count on that one. Yeah, but wounds can count for the bystander. Right. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ah, uh, yeah. And that's it. So, yep, I got a, I have a ring, and it is re-entering the city. We stink. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, if anyone was unaware, the uh, evil wins when the number of escaped villains is double the number of players. I'm counting four. Got him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Hmm. So we may not have won this one, but someone is about to win this one. So let's get our winner for this we raffle as well. Of ourselves. I am Rob. <laughs> well, I blame you entirely. Oh, like I didn't and know that. Mr. And Mr. I don't. I like don't want to hurt you. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's all. Have, it's all that. Yeah, absolutely. And and absolutely. you guys should all know that it was Richard's idea to put this particular group of yes. heroes yep. and villains and, and you, masterminds yep. together. So if it was hard, mm. it's his mm. fault. And do you know? Mm. And do you know who helped me put that together? And who has all of the card text? I am just Mr. Helpful. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I said, Hey, Rob, look at all these names of characters. I think would be cool to play with. Can we put that together? Yes. Sure, I can put that together for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> technically, we could. Oh, um, technically. So we got our winner for the uh, the N Salvador Mastermind is oh G G T Gill Gaming ninety seven. There it Gil is. Gaming ninety seven. So uh, say something for us, and we know you're here. There, it, there it is. All right, cool. So I'm so, gonna set that uh, aside for you. Uh, same drill. You can get in touch Mark. with me. And we'll in the spirit of competitions, how many victory points did you have? Oh, I had zero. I had four. I also we still have, lost. <laughs> I also had four, for what that's worth. <laughs> and you had uh, two. So Rob and I are the real our, winners our here. Our co-winning losers, yes. Yeah. We are the best losers ever. Uh, Bageltop says, just curious, are Big Hero 6 characters eligible to be part of Legendary? I don't know how this fits into other Marvel properties. Big it's Hero great, 6? Yeah, that's a great question. I don't know where they fall in that. I don't mm -hmm. know either. Um, just do because not. Marvel does Marvel doesn't mean we have access to everything, so that's no. a great question, but I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't Ma know where that... Marvel, to, to put it shortly, Marvel has rules. Mm. Well, all, all licensors have rules. Everybody has rules. We have rules. Uh, yeah. And uh, by the way, we do have rules. Kit Kat saying, "Oh, I had zero. I feel that. So you're not yeah. the only uh, one." Matlock says, "Question about the artwork designs. When you search for an artist and tell them the character you need, do they get full freedom in design, or is there a guide you give them to shoot for?" <laughs> Erica, I know the answer, but go ahead. Yeah, I, just, I also brought it here just answer. for this question. I, I, I also know the answer, but definitely, yeah, there's definitely not. Freedom. I mean, there's freedom to like. <laughs> <laughs> there is no, no freedom, freedom here. No freedom Whoa. at all. No, there's the only time like, we're allowed to walk to, around. Um, have the artists put in like their own um, style and everything, but just like Marvel has rules, we have rules on what we can and can't show for um, different characters. So there are like a list of depending on the character, there are certain things that we can't have in the card design or have the character holding or represented with. So it just depends on the character and what rules comes with that um, specific character. And in addition to that, they usually try and get the art to match what the mechanics do. Mm -hmm. So it, it feels more thematic. Um, but yeah, there's there's definitely rules across the board of what we can. We don't 
we don't have we don't own the characters that we use so we have to follow their rules um and and so we just have to kind of do the best we can mm -hmm. make the coolest art we can so uh we got one here from angus to rock and by the way we're gonna have another another gift for you all in just one moment but i gotta shout this one out would be great to see more henchmen groups to give more variety uh henchmen were one of the trickiest things for us to decide on for this setup yes um the way the sets break down in hundreds and 200 card expansions, I can only do extra henchmen groups in the one deluxe expansion we do each year. And that means you'll get two extra henchmen groups a year. Right now, in our normal cadence of expansions. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start up another gift. This time it is for this promo Hulk Smash card, which is really cool. I like this art a lot. You got the Jets chasing after him. Um, More Joe Jusco. Yes. So that's the, what, the third of three of those ones, if I'm not mistaken? Or were there more to that too, Mark? Uh, there's, oh, that set was made with those three. So Hulk, awesome. Green Goblin, and, uh, and Spider-Man. Sweet. So yeah, this is the last of those. Um, exclamation mark raffle. Please get those entries in. We got about, what, five minutes for that as well. And then we're going to have one last, last gift right at the end of the stream for y'all. Um, but yeah, we're still here. Even though we lost, we're still, we are still standing. I'm ready for a rematch. Can we squeeze it in? Can we squeeze it into no. eight minutes? We got uh, this. No. <laughs> uh, so uh, Bagel Tubs asking. So is Erica the Sarah Haley Finn of Legendary? I don't know that reference. I don't know that reference either. <laughs> <laughs> Time to bring uh, back big boxes so we get more henchmen, sidekicks, officers, and grievous wounds. Yeah, big boxes are a tough nut to crack now because. Who haven't we done in Legendary? Oh, okay. And if a box has That's to be themed comic. around a comic book yeah. story yeah. or maybe yeah. loosely themed around a movie, um, even if even a comic book story like the Annihilation Wave didn't really give me enough new content to do an entire 350 or 400 new cards for masterminds, heroes, henchmen, schemes. It's just big boxes are, are a tough nut to crack now and give you guys new content that you don't already have. I've heard the Wolverine talk. We have enough Wolverines. You guys wouldn't want me to do another X-Men big box with four more Wolverine heroes, would you? So I can't really I can't really guarantee that we'll ever do uh, what that we'll do a big box again in the near future. Shout out to Age of Apocalypse big box. Uh, Apocalypse is a tough one. I'm sure. Yeah. What we could do in 2013 doesn't mean we can do it today. So, yeah. Rules. Mm-hmm. Rules. They're there for a reason, but... Mm. Let's see here. Uh, somebody says, who says we have enough Wolverines? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to go ahead and call out the winner for that whole card Wolverine I mentioned, by the way. Wolverine has got more hero sets than any other hero in Legendary. Right? How many do we have? Five? I'm not done. Not counting the Wolverine Noir bystander. Well, he's got a bystander. He's in a. Uh, he's in the base set. He's in at least city. a dozen, apparently. He's in the villains. He's in villains. He's, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. And and I don't want the abuse that the community will give me, like, oh, another Wolverine. Ready? Yeah. So our winner for the Hulk promo card is got B Doc zero twenty. So. Please say a little something. Yeah, a round of applause, right on. So let's hear a little something in the chat and we'll know that uh, you're here and get in touch with us and we'll take care of that for you. I'm seeing lots of, there it is, so, excellent. So speaking of Wolverine, what Wolverine haven't we done yet? We've done Old Man Logan. Hmm. We've done the new Wolverine, which is X-23, Lauren. We've done, well, well that's a kind of, it's mm -hmm. a little bit it's Still Wolverine, we still, still Wolverine. Um, I don't think we've missed a Wolverine yet. Got to call out for Dokken right there. Oh yeah, Dokken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I think maybe an updated Wiccan can be like Sentry <laughs> uh, or or the Phoenix. I half expected an updated Wiccan could be Wolverine. <laughs> Best of both worlds, right there. Colossus alone, alone X Men. Uh, do we not have a Colossus that's specifically to X-Men? Because I know he's in X-Force in Dark Phoenix, or in Dark City. I, yes. I think and we put him in X-Force. We have a lot of characters in Legendary, so 
it's hard for me to keep them all straight in my head. I have a master list, but without me referencing it, I don't think we actually do have a Colossus X-Men. I think he's, he's X-Force, if I'm not mistaken. Thunderbolt Wolverine. Thunderbolt Wolverine? Thunderbolt the, Wolverine? The Thunderbolt? Wow. I well, he would still be Wolverine. He would just have a different team affiliation, so he would still be I him. That's what they're going for. Just, just put him on every team. Just, just put him on every, team. On every team. All this, yeah. all this Wolverine Colossus yeah. discourse Wolverine going Avengers. on. Um, real quick, one, our our final gift for the day is going on right now. So exclamation mark uh, raffle for that. We'll have the winner in just a few moments. But just a few things, a few reminders. One, we're going to be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. That's going to be versus. You're going to see Mark. I unfortunately will not be here, but Rob will not be here. Eric will not be here, but Mark's going to be playing some versus with Vito. It's going to be a great time. We'd love to see you all there. And then we're also going to be back at 9.30 this Saturday with more Legendary. That time we got Rob and got me. And uh, it's also some Legendary Bond, which you don't want to miss. The Spy Who Loved Me has got some great stuff. Just as Legendary fans, we know you'll love it. Speaking of Legendary, Legendary Gamer, that contest is still going on. And it's going to be going on for a few months. But we want to see those entries. We want to see them soon. You can win this very hat, these very shirts. You can win water bottles you can win lots of good stuff great prize package there as well as of course the grand prize trip to gen con 2022 and uh speaking of gen con it's going on right now so keep an eye out so for lots of great stuff on that if you're a board game fan we know that you're already on top of it but thank you for spending some of your gen con with us as for that final winner it's going to be these promo cards here, both nice and shiny. We've got Thor, and we've got an alternate art of Unleash the Power of the Cosmic Cube. And that is going to be going to... Both of them? Yeah. We'll do yeah. both of them. Yeah. Nice and shiny. People have been hanging out. Yeah, no, we appreciate you all sticking around. We want, like, a nice... And we go... That is going to Epilardus? Apologies if I'm saying that wrong, but it looks like Epilardus. So, uh, just give us a quick something something in the chat, and there it is. Excellent. I'm going to set these aside for you right now, and we'll be in touch. Um, if you're not already, I know I've mentioned it multiple times, but join our Discord server. It's the best way to get in touch, both with me, a lot of the people you've seen in chat, these guys. I check Discord every day. Mm -hmm. I Same. practically live on it at this point, but we want to hear if you got any thoughts, if you want to just talk about Legendary with like-minded people, it's the best way to go. Yeah. Um, thank you all for joining us this morning. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, me. And My hey, pleasure. behind the camera, thank you, Ryan, for running this as well. Greatly appreciated. We know they love you, too. But in, I love you. There it Keep is. Keep mine legendary. Yes. Thank you all. Um, that about does it for us today. But we'll see you tomorrow, and have a great Gen Con. Bye.